Good afternoon, and welcome to UCTV Channel 14. My name is Donald Davis, and... Okay, you know what? Okay, let's, let's do this the right way. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Get Serious with me, the one and only, Donaldo Davis. Welcome back to campus for the spring semester. We have a lot to talk about, so without any further delay, let's get into the show. So just in case you were hibernating for the entire winter or in case you're still busy trying to get started on your New Year's resolutions that are now two weeks late, a lot has been happening on campus while we were all away on break. One of those things in particular was the completion and grand opening of the Toscano Family Forum Hockey Arena here on Storrs campus. The finishing touches to the beautiful state-of-the-art facility were done last Thursday and over the past weekend, both the men's and women's hockey teams christened it with games against Merrimack College, Vermont, and Northwestern. So to all the Husky hockey fans out there, consider this a nice little New Year's gift. And please, to all the other Huskies out there, please come out and support our hockey teams in the brand new home. Or if you're not a fan, then just come watch a few hockey fights every now and then. Either way, you're still going to have a good time. Next in our headlines, let's talk about the upcoming Stores Campus Involvement Fair that will be happening on February 1st, 2023 from 1 to 6 p.m. at the Gamble Pavilion. If you or anyone you know is looking to enhance the experience here at UConn beyond just waking up every day in the miserable cold weather and trying to pass the classes, then come check out this event where all students are welcomed to meet and get the opportunity to join one of UConn stores' 400 plus student organizations and clubs. Both myself and the Let's Get Serious team will be there, so if you want to get a chance to see me live and maybe even get an autograph, <laughs> be sure to come out to the Evolving Fair on February 1st. I'll see you there soon. Finally, let's end the show talking about a big yet very unusual award that has been given to our dear college. According to the League of American Bicyclists, an organization that sounds completely made up but is actually 100% real, trust me, okay. the University of Connecticut has been named amongst a group of 221 colleges and universities nationwide as one of the most bicycle-friendly campuses in the country. The honor was given in recognition of the university's work in encouraging cycling as a form of healthy exercise. Now, allow me to be the first and maybe even the only student on campus to say congratulations to UConn. But let's be honest, when you got a big ass campus like this one and gas is so expensive, then what other choice do we have? My only question is, who the hell is riding a bike now in this weather? It's like 30 something degrees outside. Let's save the cycling for the fall, people. That concludes our show, everyone. Thanks for watching and on a serious note, Please have a great spring semester, check out the new hockey rink, go to the Yukon Involvement Fair, and please remember to ride a bike on campus. Or just use the ones in the rec center. Those still count. <laughs> Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.